I can almost guarantee you, almost guarantee you that at least three out of six areas that I'm gonna talk about in this video, you've never applied fragrance to. But see, these are the areas that are gonna create that sexy bubble around you where it's not gonna be so overpowering that you're gonna intoxicate everybody, but it's gonna be tight and intense. When anybody steps into your personal bubble, they won't wanna step out. Today, boys, I'm gonna show you six areas on the body that every dude should be applying fragrance on. Let's hop into it. Number one, the back of the neck. You heard me right, right here. Right in the back of the neck. See. This is kind of what seals off the bubble. Usually when you apply, what do you do? You either create a cloud, you step into it, or you just bathe yourself without any method to the madness. You just completely waste the bottle of fragrance. Instead, I want you to be strategic where, where you place your fragrance. Here in the back of the neck, it creates almost this scent trail, like a tail. So when you walk into any room, you're leaving that light trail behind you. And especially if you're in a bar or you're trying to pick up a girl, that is gonna help them lead the way. Like I've always said, when you attract a woman, you use all five senses and not just your looks. That scent trail, it's powerful. Number two, the back of your palms. See, right now that we wear a lot of jackets or when you wear a long sleeve or a tee, you don't wanna spray your wrist because your clothing will legit block the scent from being able to expand. But on the back of the palms, it still stays exposed throughout the day. And I feel you, bro. I mean, who would want their scent being blocked, especially if you're wearing Santa Lucia's everyday fragrance that has hints of cardamom, violet leaves, and gray amber. Yo, I wouldn't want to block that. The scent is straight money on you because, well, it's all handmade in France and it just dropped right now, April 10th, 10 a.m. Eastern. This is finally our launch for Santa Lucia. Yo, this has been a year and about five months in the making. See, we first dropped Assure, our first fragrance. It sold out within two, three hours and we never brought it back. This was our test of concept. It was an EDP that we dropped and made here in the USA. When I saw how much people loved our scents, I wanted to level it up. I wanted a scent that competed with high-end perfumes. And that's what we did. See, we went to France the fragrance capital of the world. We sourced the best oils in the world. All our scents are made in France. Our scents are also highly concentrated at 20% that officially makes it a perfume, which is the highest level you can get. Now, I do wanna make a quick disclaimer. Uh, my factory made a massive mistake, which in other words means I made a massive mistake, and they printed EDP on the tops of our freaking tops, which completely it bummed me out. Honestly, it bummed me out. But my mistake is your winnings because this is what we're gonna do. See, I could have gotten the caps reprinted, but that would take forever. And honestly, it's already been a year and a half and I want you guys to smell these scents and how great they are. Or we could give you a massive discount. See, if you buy all three, we're gonna take $150 off the entire bundle. This will never happen again. And just like Assure, once these sell out, we probably will never bring these scents again. Talk about uniqueness. You will never smell like anybody else. See, we dropped three scents. Our first scent is Come Closer. This has dark rose notes into it. And think about this one as a, a scent that you draw women. The second one is our Two Conquering fragrance. This is for the guy that's a CEO. The CEO of his life. The guy that wants to be a boss. This is the scent you wear to intimidate other men. It's filled with patchouli, those minty notes that help you also concentrate. And finally, number three, the one that I'm talking about is our everyday scent. This is the one you wear every single day, doesn't matter what it is, and you're always smelling good and on point. This is your compliment getter. You can get all three, and when you line them up in your bathroom, bro, they look so sick. It's almost like they level up the luxe feel of your bathroom, and they all line up perfectly to say, come closer to conquering every day. Because that's exactly what I want you to do every time you spray one of our Santa Lucia fragrances. Boys, this is going to fly, and I'm telling you, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Next time we drop new scents, could be a while from now. I don't want this to sell out with you guys trying out some of the best fragrances right now. Bro, and at the quality that we have, and at the deep discount that we're gonna drop in because of my mistake, Yo, you're not gonna wanna miss this. If you guys wanna check out Santa Lucia, click the link down below. Number three, it's your hair. You heard me right, 
in your hair. But see, there's fragrances specific for your hair. They're called hairspray or fragrance sprays for your hair. You don't want to apply your regular fragrance to your hair because that can have certain chemicals that can overly dry your hair. So you want to buy a fragrance that's made for your hair. But the great thing is that it also works like the back of the neck where it leaves this trail. But more importantly, I've always told you this and you can ask any girl, when you're making out with the girl, women love to mess up dude's hairs. And if you've ever made out with the girl, well, first of all, you're a lucky man. And second of all, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You leave there completely destroyed, completely mauled. Your hair's a mess. Guess what that girl's gonna feel as she's making a mess and those scent molecules are just kind of activating and they're like expanding. Yo, it's gonna turn her on. Number four, in the insides of your elbows. See, you wanna always apply scents in warm areas of the body because that way the scent can project better. Since veins run really closely to this layer of the skin, there's a lot of heat in this area of your skin. So when you apply here, this makes great projection points on your body that every man skips on, but if you want your scent to really smell strong that day, go for the inside of your elbow. Number five, the back of your ears. Similar to the inside of your elbows, the back of your ears, they're pulse points. These are warm areas of your body. So as you're going throughout the day and things are starting to warm up, guess what's gonna happen? That sexy bubble is gonna start expanding. And I love adding scents to the back of the neck, the back of the ears, because this area is really sensitive. So when you are talking to a girl and things are getting hot and heavy, guess where she's gonna want to be? where it smells good. Because like your brother Jose told you, you're attracting her with all five senses and not just your looks. And then finally, number five in the middle of the chest. This almost like completely encapsulates that bubble that I'm talking about. But the problem here is that most men apply their fragrance on top of their clothing. This is a massive mistake. See, what you want to do is before you put your clothes on, that's when you wanna spray the fragrance on your skin. See, not only does the fragrance last longer on skin versus on fabric, you're also avoiding damaging your fabric or staining your fabric when you apply the fragrance on top of your clothing. So to make it last longer and not damage your clothing, go for right in the middle of the chest before you put the clothing on. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are six areas that you wanna apply fragrance on so you can just be a sexy stud. Bro, you're gonna be smelling so good, especially if you got one of our Santa Lucia fragrances. I just want you to use this new power with a, with a lot of responsibility, okay? I don't want you to be a dog. I don't want you to be mistreating women because I'm telling you, they're going to stick to you like flies, bro. That's it for me today. See ya.